Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Jason with Rock Hunting Life. Today is super cold outside, so we're gonna stay inside and uh, do a lapidary video. It's actually minus 35 degrees in Nova Scotia today, Celsius. For our American friends, that's minus 39 Fahrenheit. With the wind chill, it's minus 45 degrees Celsius, which makes it minus 49 Fahrenheit. So that's how cold it is in Nova Scotia right now. It's due to a phenomenon they call a glacial vortex. It came across from Siberia, across the poles, and now it's hitting Nova Scotia. I guess in Siberia, uh, a couple weeks ago, this glacial vortex brought temperatures of like minus 65 degrees Celsius, which is crazy. Anyway, these are, these are record low temperatures for Nova Scotia this time of year. Usually our winters are pretty mild. You know, we hover around zero degrees Celsius most of the time, uh, but this is really crazy. Uh, crazy cold weather so obviously we can't go outside so lapidary video today I was in our little breakfast nook here in the kitchen and we have this little jar of vase of rocks that we you know just dump rocks into I don't know what the reasoning is we just put rocks in here no, there's no rhyme to reason of what goes in here but uh, you can see there's a couple of really nice jemmy sea maggots in there but one really caught my eye, and I forgot I had this, and it's one of my favorite rocks I've ever found, actually. And I was kind of wondering where it went, and I found it in here. This guy right here. This was found at Ross Creek Beach. This is where we find our cycads, but I found this thing. Uh, we call these uh, porcelain sea maggots. Got this kind of porcelain look to them. Anyway, this one was one of my all-time fair because it's just so unique and it was a nice big chunk, no fractures in it. Um, so we're gonna work with this today. I'm just gonna polish this in the flat lap, make a nice, I'm gonna make a cut here where I can stand it up, make it into a shelf piece, uh, get some shine on it. It's got a nice smooth cut on it, so this should be easy to polish on the flat lap. Uh, and we haven't done a flat lap video in a little bit, so we're gonna do that today. Show you the colors here, we'll zoom in on this thing. This is dry, but uh, really, really cool feature. It's got this like little pink at the top of the seam there. You can see the little pink crystals that are dropping down, and then you have it going into a more clear chalcedony. But uh, really cool. I really like this this piece. So we're gonna fix this up today, make it into a shelf piece. Let's go into the shop. So the first thing that needs to happen, we need to cut a little base for it to stand up on here. So we're just going to notch this at like maybe a 30 degree angle so that we can just have it prop up kind of like that. So we'll do that on the high tech diamond 10 inch slap saw. We have it standing up nice and uh, tall, proud to be displayed. So now we're going to take it over to the High Tech Diamond 8 inch flat lap and start on a 260 grinding and see if we can get this thing uh, polished up.
So here's the final result. As you can see, we got a nice mirror shine there. You can see the trees outside perfectly. And we have a nice, nice shelf piece. So just a little little lapidary project today. I'm gonna to put this on my sea maggot shelf. One day I'll show a video showcasing all the different types of sea maggot we have here in uh, Nova Scotia. This is just a one example, porcelain sea maggot. If anyone's interested in learning more about the high-tech diamond machines I used in today's video, you can go ahead and message me at rockhoundinglife at gmail.com. I can answer any questions you have. If you are on the fence of whether or not you want to purchase one, I highly recommend them. They're great beginner machines. The affiliate link is in our description. Uh, and when you get there and you check out, you can use the code RHLIFE and you get yourself 10% off. As always, have a great week and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Me, we ain't doing you some kind of butterfly.